Welcome friends! In today's Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy strategy for farming early renown in the game. Well, let's get started first with building our character, skip like this, we'll jump. And when creating your character, focus on leveling up the social attributes and especially the charm skill at the beginning of the game so we need to pick the options that will level up your social skill first okay here we don't have something okay let's pick with artisans okay not here, your aptitude, your way with the paper. This is a good start. Now, work in the village, no, it doesn't help us. Hunted, no, this doesn't help. Sold products at the market. Next, you see, we need to reach here at least four red, four green lines. Train with infantry doesn't help. Road with scouts, stood up with garrison, no. Okay, this one doesn't help. So it seems that here we don't have something that will help us with the social. Okay, go with the infantry this time. You road up, you escape, you treated people well. This is important, yes. You organized the travelers to break out, okay? This one is more than enough. Now, give your hero a fancy name. I know, not very creative. But it's Tergia. And start your campaign. Now, after creating your character, and at the beginning of the campaign, you'll notice that you have now a free perk you can choose at the charm skill. The first one you need to pick is this. Self promoter. Plus three more renown when you win a tournament. And the strategy is exactly this one. You will need to go and fight in tournaments at the beginning of every game. If you have that perk, with that perk you will earn 6 points of renown for each tournament won. And you will easily reach the clan 3rd level 3 clan tier at the earliest year 1087, if you proceed with this strategy. You go in Batania, in Sturgia, maybe in Vlandia, and you will try to win each tournament from that nation. Believe me, it will give you lots of loot, besides the precious renown early in the game. And to sustain my strategy, you will see a few fights and the loot I acquired in the next moments. Now I promise to you some footage from my one tournaments in Batania and Sturgeon especially. Here is in Batania. You see, six renown. And one from Batania. Another tournament from Batania. Best round. Good. Not hard to be reaching Batania the last round, especially. Oh, you see you also earn a special item from each tournament, once you win it, of course. Items usually, even if you don't need them, are very valuable, so you can sell them to the market for some decent cash. But tournaments are very important, because... You can also train your skills, especially you know, one hand and you know, two handed sword fight. This one was from Sturgeon. 
The Patanian and Sturgeon tournaments are usually infantry focused. You will not see very much cavalry fights in these tournaments. So that's why it's more easier to win them than other tournaments like the ones from Vlandia, for example. Another tournament, again, Sturgia, last round. Wow, what a hit! Okay, finish the end of the S. Again, six. Six renown. Good one. Another last round from a Sturgeon tournament. Wow, axe! I've gone straight through me. But with three hits, I finished him off. Look at the price. Oh, it wasn't the last time. It was in fact the... Before the semi-finals. This is the final round. Good one. Game over from here. In a few moments I also show you how much renown I have gathered with all the tournaments and in how much time. As I promised, look at my victory record in tournaments. 33 victories which grants me nearly 200 renown points and I also achieved the champion benefits and you know the achievement called god of the arena which passively grants you one renown per day without doing anything just be the leader of the arena by winning the tournaments and, and it's more than enough to advance to clan tier clan 3 tier in banner my clan already has more it's between four and five level tier so it's well above the required renown i hope you have found this tutorial useful and entertaining yes please subscribe to my channel for more have a great day